Witness News. Hello, Honorable. Yes. Good evening. Yes, evening. When the Speaker gave you the mandate to investigate the IGP leak tape, um, we remember there was a timeline given to you by which timeline you were supposed to report back to the House of Parliament with your findings. Uh, suffice it to say that it's been many months after that, your report has not been publicly seen, but we are hearing that your report is actually out and um, some persons at the presidency have cited it, which report you have presented to them and all of that. We wanted to ask you tonight, what's the status of your work and where is your report? Well, in the first instance, we're giving some time considerations and timelines. But, you know, there were a lot of intervening matters. Even to get the members to sit for the problem because I told my director, one of them had even traveled to the United States of America when we're commissioned to start our work. So a lot of things have happened, but we don't want to come in give excuses why we are late in bringing the report. The report is is just about to be concluded, and then the committee will converge on trying to look at it and have understanding that nobody has been shortchanged. And this is a clean reflection of, I mean, what came before us. And they'll put it before plenary. I do not know how anybody will say that the report was, was with the presidency. How can that be? I mean, the report that the committee has not been poured on it. How can it be with the president? So currently, as we speak, your report is not out in the public. And if anyone has that report, then what would that be? Because we're hearing people have that report. Pathetic. Who signed the report? And uh, whose signature is on the report? If somebody is trying to improvise something to mess up the minds of Ghanaians, it's up to the person. Because I've not signed any report. The clerks have not signed any report. So probably this is somebody's invention of mischief, and that is distasteful. Is your committee hesitating to come out with a report, perhaps because of the findings you made in there, or you are simply being beaten by time? Are there some national security considerations for which reason you are coming? You are taking time to come out. Well, there are no national security considerations at all, because at the end of the day, we had an in-camera hearing. And then we are able to distill what is important and what is not important in the rest of it. So there's no national security consideration at all. The only thing I would say that there's been a lot of intervening matters. Uh, one of them that if you care to know, we could have finished this enough as quickly as possible. But for the budget as well, and it is not easy to get uh, all the members of the committee to converge on a matter of such significance. And also, every serious chairman with the sensitive matter of this nature, we would not want to be tagged as a, a one-man show, a one-man report. Let's all agree that the, 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 what, is, what will be the final outcome is the understanding of all the members of the committee, even if there are disagreements. Are you getting that, though? Is, there a con is this report going to be a consensus one, or you're going to vote on it? Well, I wouldn't want to, excuse me to say, um, uh, publish the report before it's signed. So I'll crave your indulgence not to comment on the matter. But whatever it is, the report will come and it will be in the public domain. It will not be a fetish. And people will see what the report is all about. And then, um, I mean, you make your judgment. When should we expect your report to be laid before Parliament? I will be able to tell you something um, concrete probably next week because, I mean, uh, it's being poured on strongly by, I mean, the class. We are looking at it very well. And immediately, uh, they, they, they give it to the entire membership. We'll converge, and then we'll see whether there's a need to clean up, de-emphasize, emphasize some issues, or it is perfect. And then we, we look at everything, including grammar and logic. And then we'll we, we sign it off. The chairman and the class will sign it off, and then... Uh, we'll, we'll put it in the public domain. We'll bring it to plenary. That's it. Very well. Thank you so much. We'll wait to see what happens next. Uh, Honorable Chairman. Enjoy as always. You yeah. too. That's Honorable Samuel Atachia. He is a member of parliament for Ibokwa South and also chairman of the committee that is investigating that IGP leak tape.